probably come flat when you clean your own brushes and go this way. And the reason for this, if you do this, you keep all the dirt inside the brush. You just spread the dust, mm -hmm. you do nothing. So this is quite important. A lot of people forget about this. And if, as you can see, I also use my body a lot. A lot of people just go like that with their hand. But if you use your body with you, you will use much more force and you will brush your hands much quicker. Yeah, which Andrea mentioned you have a problem with that and of course you will because it's humid so they produce much more oil because they want to protect themselves from the sun yeah so this one would be quite good for you guys and also it's quite quick yeah and go <laughs> so this brush again we use in circular motion and this one is amazing for stain removal and again circulation and with those colored and gray horses, it's really important that you get the circulation going because then the pores clean with you as you groom the horses. If you have clean pores, then you have no sweatage, no skin problems because yeah. the oil is coming through and it's not yeah. blocked. It's a bit like with us when you have, we are caked in dirt or makeup, of yeah. course we're going to start having blackheads because the pores are getting closed up. So, we have a stain here, so I want to show you how to remove stains effectively. First, you start going against the coat. And then with the coat. Okay. And you don't need to buff. And the circle start helps with the circulation. And then you go first with the coat. You can see how much white it is. Wow. And if there's a stain that is still there, you can go against the coat or in circles again. Until it goes away. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> go. It's very important to moisturize the coat of the horses, especially when there is stains that constantly reappear every morning or every couple of days. And the reason for this is, as you can see here, even though it was already groomed, it's still a bit different color. And then um, it's like your own hair, the minute you have some ammonia on it for all and all the repeated time, what happens, that hair becomes very dry and brittle. So you do need to moisturize it to achieve the same clean skin and clean coat as you would want to have on a stain that has been there for a long time. And you can use it, you can achieve it by using one of our sprays or hydrating masks. And we're gonna apply the spray now and then come back to the stain after we finish grooming the horse. It really cleans the pores, the skin and everything underneath. Yeah. And it's amazing to see on the collar actually, so you will really see it. Yeah. And it co keeps going down and you can see more and more appearing. And this is from the pores getting cleaned. And this is, especially in your country, it's very important. This brush should be used before riding, after riding, instead of washing off your horse. Because this brush will pick up sweat, clean the pores, even when the horse is sweaty. It's well called quarter marker. It's called cold gloss. And this brush, you could feel, you could slide on your uh, hand, but also it's quite dense. So that's why it's very good for quarter marks. Uh, for cleaning the top coat as well. So again, as with any brush, remember to always clean your brush as you go. I know I look like I'm a mad woman with grooming. I'm sorry, I love it too much. But if you just start even just thinking one stroke, clean the brush. One stroke, clean the brush. You very quickly start doing what I am doing. It's just repetition over the years. So this one is lamb's wool inside and a lot of people just use lamb's wool gloves but lamb's wool gloves just move the dust they don't actually pick it up where this brush keeps the dust inside because of the horse hair on the outside and really polishes them off the marks and that's how she used to come and check all the horses if they are clean or not so a lot of the time, if you groom quickly with a curry comb, good flicky brush, and then spray them over, they look clean, but they actually not clean underneath the coat. With the chestnut horses, the manes and tails are very weak, 
So personal tip for you guys, always use the, use the carry comb also on the base of the mane and the base of the uh, tail to start the circulation and the hair will become stronger. Personally, I'm against against mane and tail detanglers because they have lots of silk in it. So they actually block all the pores. So now I've cleaned the pores yeah. and you would put all the blockages back onto the skin. So now it's the important part to massage the conditioner in. And why is it important? Because the minute my hair gets stuck in some places, it means but it's really the end. Okay, I'm sorry, darling. And then the same as you do on a tail, you start this way. And the reason for this is to go through the hair and start lying them closer to the skin. So they start getting all that nutrition on that oil from underneath. So they are still quite poking out, as you can see. And now you turn around the brush and you will see how closer to the coat they will start lying. So this is something again that I put together. Everybody thinks I'm absolutely mental, but it works. All my horses have beautiful manes, mm -hmm. and a lot of people who always struggled and buy bought everything for the manes and tails. Love this. I'm gonna show it to you. Oh, okay. and this is for your blacks and your bays, is yeah. it? Yeah, any okay. colors of bays from very light. To very dark and all. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and now you want to go right to the middle. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 See, that's what I find better with the brushes because you can always repair it. Yeah. Okay, so the teeth set was a little yeah. not really You need to stand, stand here. Oh, you did the teeth set. Yeah, and now are you still okay with your left hand? Because I'm okay with both. Or... Mm, yeah, I can do my left hand. Yeah. So just remember to put pressure. So I'm going to show you first, okay? Yeah. Pressure. Up. Yeah. And the other one. Okay, so it comes here. And then one that way again. Yeah. yeah. And now you need to plan, you need to go higher, because you need to plan. <laughs> so it's removing all the hair, all the mass, and they love it because it's super soft. Even the most sensitive oh, horses. I like that, I need one of those. I'm always crazy about how when they finish riding, when they've got all the stuff left on them. Yeah, so this one is really good okay. even when they are wet, yeah. it could go okay. all That's over. Cool. And again, you were asking about ears. <laughs> yep. Again, you see, this is a bit, you see, straight away he's fine. He was like, mm, what is this? <laughs> and then he's, oh, I like this. Yeah, it's got special in there. Which, it's great because you can put your hand in. And this one has the same hair as the coat gloss. So it's very good at cleaning.